Hi guys, good morning to all of you and welcome to the session. Today we are going to talk something about distribution channels and logistics management. What are channels? Let's see. What are distribution channels? Distribution channels are a set of independent, interdependent organizations. They are also called intermediaries involved in the process of making a product or service available for the use of customers or consumption. Right? A set of interdependent organizations, they are called intermediaries, involved in the process of making a product or service available for use for consumption. This is the definition. Now, what, what is the role of these intermediaries? Role of intermediaries is greater in, in producing greater efficiency in making goods or services, goods and services available to the final user. That's number one. Number two, intermediaries provide contacts of the customers to the company. They, they, they go along with their experience, you know, experience in asset. That is an asset they are going to hand out to the company. With that experience, they are going to be produce better results for the company. Specialization, sometimes product specializations are there. So intermediaries, when we select intermediaries, we select in such a way that product experience is there, product specialization is there. That is kind of service. Scale of operation, you know, in accordance with the needs of the market, they either they can increase the scale of operation or they can expand the scale of operation or increase the scale of operation. What are the various functions of channels? For example, channels, they, they work on information. What kind of information? You know, the gathering information and distributing the market research, uh, market research to the company. Where are the customers? What he needs actually? What kind of things are there? What are his priorities? All this information will be gathered by the channel and it will be given back to the company. Promotion. What is promotion? Persuading the customers by offers. You know, local companies, local channels, they give a lot of offers to the customers in order to make them buy their own products or services. Uh, contacts, like because they are locals, they know who is who and then what are the various preferences of uh, a, a particular segment of the customers. So this is very, very important for the uh, company. Similarly, matching, what is matching? Shaping and fitting the offer to the customer needs. Various customers are there, various packages are there, various income levels are there, various groups are there, various preferences are there. So for all these people, they work out individualistic, probably specific, you know, offers to suit the individual customers. Negotiation. Negotiation, everybody will do, the buyer and the seller, they do their negotiations in such a way that finally a, a, a balance is strike uh, so that the sales will take place. Physical distribution the local channel will be able to deliver the product uh, in accordance with the needs of the customer, wherever he wants to deliver the product. So the channel will be able to deliver that. Financing, you know, financing for the channel work. When the channel does the work of distribution of the product to the end user, they are healing a lot of, you know, expenditure. This expenditure he will bear by himself and probably he will claim back from the company later. Risk taking, you know, assuring that, assuming the risks of the channel work. He is taking all the risks of, you know, uh, you know distributing the products. Yeah. That is how all these things are functions of channels. Channel levels, how many levels are there? Right. The manufacturer is at the top level. Later, the wholesaler, then the retailer, then the consumer. There are four levels. Of course, these levels will vary from the type of, you know, product itself. Technical product, consumer, uh, FMCG, uh, electronics, automobiles, depending on various things, these channels may vary. Innovations in marketing systems. There are, you know, vertical marketing system, horizontal marketing system, hybrid marketing system, systems are there. For example, in horizontal marketing, two or more companies at one channel level join together to increase the coverage. You know, for example, big, big engineering colleges are there where banks will come and open their counters, ATM counter or, you know, regular operating counter, they will come and open the counter. For example, Coca-Cola and Nestle, they formed into a joint venture. Uh, to market to market or sell coffee or tea uh, worldwide. This is called horizontal marketing system. 
then there is hybrid marketing system is there. A single firm sets up two or more marketing channels to increase the coverage. For example, retailers, catalogs, telemarketing and sales force. Various marketing channels are operated in the same market in order to sell a particular product. You know, retailers, for example, they keep the stocks and then they try to sell the stock to the customer. This is one. Second thing, this is also supported by uh, telecallers, for example. Telecallers, they will be calling the customers, offering the products on net so that when the customer actually buys the product, he will come to the distribution point, he will buy the product and take the product by himself. Now, parallelly, the company can also operate um, person selling sales force. They will also operate in the same market. This is called mixing of two, three channels together. This is hybrid system. Channel design decisions. When you are going to establish your own channels, what kind of decisions, what kind of channels are you going to select? and how you will take a decision whether to establish this channel or that channel. One, analyzing the customer service needs, what kind of market that is, what kind of service do I need from the channel. These are various decisions the company needs to take care. For example, the channel can uh, add value to the customer service. You will select such a channel that if the channel can deliver a value addition to the customer, then that's the best selection for you. Second one, setting channel objectives and then constraints. Once you select a channel, you have to set the channel objectives to the channel partner. Depending upon the characteristics of the product, characteristics of the company, characteristics of the channel, you will work out the channel objectives. Identifying the major alternatives, not only channel, when the channels are available in multiple dimensions, then you have to uh, identify which channel will do better, uh, you know, uh, which channel is better for you to achieve your corporate objectives. Types and number of channel partners are there like company sales force, whether you can go by, forget about all the channels, but you can take your own company people to sell the product. This is one alternative. Second alternative, manufacturing representative. Sometimes the manufacturer himself, he will appoint a person in that particular region to represent him and his products in the company. So, so that the company representative, he will sell the products and then give the contracts back to the company so that the sale will take place. The industrial distributor, industrial distributor is a specialized person where he will keep all the industry related products and then he will, he will try to sell the product to the uh, customer. Right, these are various things. This is how you take decision while selecting a channel. Once you select the channel, then how do you manage the channel himself, the channel sales? Selecting the channel depending upon the company priorities, strategy, etc., you select the channel. Then how do you motivate the channel? How do you motivate the channel? Channel motivations are two types broadly. A, positive motivation. B, negative motivation. Both are being operated by various companies in the around, across the uh, world. Uh, the positive is something like, you know, carrot offering a carrot like you give additional incentives for additional sales you know you give more money or cash discounts for advanced payments all these things are positive uh, motivation the negative motivation is you tell the uh, channel saying that if you are not going to meet the target exceed this much uh, we would like to go for um, you, we are going to cut the turnover discount or we are, we are going to slash this one that like this you intimidate the channel uh, lightly in such a way that uh, he has to meet his objectives. Intimidation should not go to that extent as to cut off the relations between the channel and you. You have to operate strategically. Then evaluating, evaluating a channel against their own targets. At the beginning of the year, company will provide, these are the sales objectives, channel you have to do this one. At the end of the year, probably every month end, you will have to review the performance of the channel in such a way that if something is backlog is there, next month he is going to make up or if he is going ahead, probably that can be adjusted, he can be pushed further uh, so that at the end of the year, he will be able to do a better performance. This is how you manage uh, the channel. Channels are very, very important in today market because they take the products and then uh, give to the customers. Now. Let's talk something about the logistics. What do you mean by logistics? Logistics are like we talk about transport system, we talk about train or rail transport system, truck transport system, 
water by water also we can transport the materials one place to another place by pipelines we do um, more uh, frequently gas pipelines etc they do the function of logistics and then air air transport is also one of the uh, one of the logistics right so integrated logistics management this is a concept integrated logistics management recognizes that providing a better customer service and trimming the distribution costs requires teamwork both inside the company and among all the marketing channels of the organization meaning what see you have lot of channels as we said before there is a train transport is there uh, by goods uh, by truck transport is there right from maybe himachal pradesh or you know from indore onwards it, it travels the truck travels all the way down the south right the other one is water transport for one seaport to another seaport things will come the third one is, fourth one is pipeline you know where gas and other things will be transported from one place to another place by air important articles light articles they also come uh, from air from one place to another place these are things how do we choose the best one what is the best one and how do we choose them this is what it says providing better customer service that is priority number 1 two is trimming down distribution costs you can't take air service in order to deliver a compute to a customer see we need to cut down the cost and increase the efficiency of delivery itself that is how we need to take decision with regard to employing the proper logistic system now cross functional team work inside the company you know market sales finance production etc all these departments will be combinedly taken care and they will have to involve in deciding which is a better logistic service building channel partnership channel partners also they take care when they when the products go to the channel partner from the company they the channel partner also plays an equal important role so that the transport reaches them safely without any damage and other things also and products are delivered right in time just in time third party logistics sometimes the channel and the company they appoint a third party um, you know who will take care of logistics of delivering the product from the company to the channel partner so uh, channels this logistics they help in order processing a warehousing b inventory management c transportation d these are various functions of logistics